Hi, it's Jennifer Adoffs, and today I'll be talking a little bit about um, breathing and exercise. So as a Pilates instructor, I'm always cueing breathing, but, but people still, they don't always get when to breathe or at, the, at which time do they breathe. So um, breathing should be natural. It should have a flow to it. Um, and especially in Pilates, that's true. Um, but for general exercise purposes, a good rule of thumb is to inhale as you extend your spine, so as you're straightening your back. And exhale as you flex or round your back so you get this deeper uh, core or abdominal contraction. So inhale, extend. Exhale as you flex. And notice I'm inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth so I can get that deeper core contraction. Now also, if you're side bending, so you'll want to inhale to extend again, exhale to flex or bend from the side. Inhale, extend, and exhale, flex or side bend. Uh, as, as a rule of thumb, if you're a neutral spine, then you can breathe either way. For instance, if I was doing a chest press exercise, I'd want to inhale, and again, I'm, I'm stretching, I'm opening my chest, and then exhale at the hardest part of the movement, so when I'm pushing it away. Inhale to open the chest. I'm breathing into this space here between my shoulder blades, and then exhale as I push the air out of my lower abdomen without collapsing or rounding forward. Now in Pilates, for Pilates exercises, the inhale, we want to move the breath into the rib cage. So there's this expansion with the inhale into the ribs, into the lateral um, sides of the ribs and, and into the upper back. And then exhale, you'll notice how the ribs kind of knit together. So inhale, you allow them to expand and exhale, you allow them to knit or kind of melt down into the floor. So let's try a bridge with that breath. So take that breath in, a little expansion here, exhale, melt the ribs down. So we're kind of bracing the spine, pressing through the feet, exhale, scooping up. So exhale on the movement, inhale to prepare, and then exhale to peel or allow the spine to roll back down. Once more, inhale, preparatory, exhale, let the ribs melt, the back braces, so the abdominals are in control here to lift the spine. Inhale here, and then exhale to peel back down. Now, if I was doing a crunch or an ab curl, I like to call it, uh, I would inhale to lengthen through the back of the neck, and then exhale to lift the chest. Inhale into the space between the shoulder blades and exhale so I get this flattening, this deepening effect. So notice I'm not puckering uh, or using my rectus but my deeper transverse abdominals which give me that flattening. So the breath is really important here. Again, we're flexing the spine so we want to be exhaling. So we get the effects of flattening instead of, of puckering, and then you, you won't hurt yourself. So, and inhale, release. And thanks for joining me today.